My name is Susan Stewart. I'm an instructional technology coach for Fowler Unified School District. My role as a technology coach is to help teachers and students make the most of our blended learning one-to-one -one Chromebook program. I regularly lead professional development, model lessons, and provide in-class coaching with teachers to help them build lessons that infuse technology into their classrooms. My ultimate goal is to share how technology can be used to promote meaningful collaboration and creativity in our students. In addition to my responsibilities in my district, I have facilitated presentations on blended learning and Google Apps at numerous conferences across the United States, including Google for Education summits and Q Rockstar camps. Additionally, I create and publish online technology professional development resources and share these through Twitter and on my blog. It's important to me when I work with teachers that they have time to create something they can immediately use in the classroom so they can successfully integrate the technology into teaching and learning. I'm not content to see technology merely used as a substitute, but work to truly redefine instruction to reflect a 21st century learning environment. Let's take a look at how to build a blended or flipped lesson using Google Classroom. I'm going to start a new assignment by clicking on the plus sign in the lower right hand corner of the screen and then choosing Assignment. I can give the assignment a title and a description. Here I can adjust the due date or remove the due date. Then I can start adding my content. Using this first icon, I can attach a file that's located in my computer. Here I have a poster with some information about facts and opinions to share with the students. I can also attach YouTube videos. I can search for a video using keywords. I select the video and add it to my assignment, or if I have the specific URL for the video, I can paste it into this bar. I want to add a link to this game about facts and opinions. So I press the URL button, paste in the link, and push Add. I'd also like to add a link to this Google Form quiz. And I'd like to have the students read this article. After students read the article I just linked, I want them to identify some facts and opinions in the reading. I made this response activity using Google Draw to include as part of the assignment. To use it, I choose the Google Drive icon and select the file. This allows students to see my copy of the file, but if I choose the drop-down menu, I can make a copy for each student. When I'm done adding resources, I press Assign. So now we have a complete lesson, which has students review the content, practice the skill, show what they know, and then apply it meaningfully. In Google Classroom, I can deliver a complete lesson using a variety of digital content in a nice, organized package. Hope you enjoy making blended lessons for your students.